I'm going to show you first how to create a new Xcode project. We'll go to the console and we will create that. I will call the project test C++. Actually already created the test C++, but I would have actually created a new folder for it. Then I would have opened it, would have gone to main, and erased everything in the main in the main so, folder and started new. Okay, now first thing I'm going to add a couple of things. I'm going to include fstream, very important. Then I'm going to write using namespace std. I won't have to write standard C out every time. I'm going to define false and true, and then I'm going to start writing. In main, I'm only going to put two things: read file, which is a function and return zero which is the end of main. Next we're going to create our read file. First thing I'm going to create is a string dummy word. Do a char 26 characters and we will initialize the string. Then I'm going to do an int. I'm going to set that to count. That's the count of the words I'm going to have in my dictionary. I will create a boolean done which I will set to false and then the F stream itself now here comes the tricky part because we really have to know how to set the path to our file which contains the dictionary words now here is an easy way to get the path to your file go to Xcode preferences select location select derived file select custom then in derived files click on the folder icon and then simply go to your dictionary file when you click on that the path to the dictionary file will be in the derived files uh, box you can simply copy it and then paste it into place i like to set my derived file after i've copied it back from custom to default now what you've copied is only the path so after you've pasted the path in, you have to type in the name of your file, and in my file's name is my dictionary. Next, I'm going to create a while loop to capture my dictionary file. So I'll create the loop, and it's while not done. And we established that done is currently equal to false. Our next line, and there are different ways to do this, but we're going to do it this way. Dictionary file dot get line, and the get line function takes dummy word, then the number of characters in dummy word, 26, and then the end of the line symbol, and in this case it's slash r. And that does have to be in single quotes. Then we'll see out our dummy words so we can look at the words that are, are coming in from our dictionary. Now we need a way to stop the while loop and set done to true. So what we'll do is we'll look for what I know to be the last word in my dictionary file, which is Zymergy. And when it reaches that, done will be set to true, and our loop should stop. And of course, we have to add our count and increment it so we know how many words we're getting. Finally, I want to know how many words we had all together, so I will print out the total number of words as the final count. And that's it for writing the code. Now all that's left is to run the program. Uh, click on run. Our build succeeded and we can see that we have 31,986 words and it actually printed them all out. And that's it. Thank you for watching.